Is the Anaya Kancho Yay? Kancho is the Anaya Kancho Yay? Kancho. Come on in and have a seat. Tell me who you want to meet. Tell it is a rodeo. Reaching everyone you know. Is the Anaya Kancho Yay? Kancho is the Anaya Kancho. back with another video of the Anaya Kind Show and I haven't been going long but do you guys know it's almost coming up Halloween and Christmas so comment down below what's your favorite holiday of the month Halloween or Christmas my favorite holiday is Christmas because not just because of the gifts because it's for it's Jesus birthday and it's forgiving now let's go for my guest to the show so I'm so glad you made it today. So tell us your name and your age. Sonaria Brooks Miller and I'm eight years old. Awesome. So what grade are you in? I am in third grade. So are you ready for Halloween? Yes. So when did you realize you had the voice to sing? When I was seven. Awesome. So what was your first song you had ever seen? Not by Mike. Awesome. So what made you want to sing? Like, who inspired you? My mom, my granny, my uncle, and my other uncle. So, have you ever performed anywhere? Uh, I performed at Gabaston, and it was beautiful. I had a great time singing my song at Gabaston. So, can I hear a note? Yes. my, power, by your spirit, God. Sing a spirit, God, not by my, not by power, by a spirit, God, sing a spirit, God. That was beautiful. <laughs> what song do you like to sing daily? Not by my. So, who is your favorite artist? Get your gold. If you had one artist that you would like to sing with, who would it be? Pentagon. Awesome. So I love your voice. So do you perform at church? Yes. So what song do you do? I sing, I pray we'll all be ready. So what church do you attend? Uh, Christian Hope Baptist Church. Cool. Thank you, Sanaya, for being on my show today. It was so great having you here. And if anybody wants to follow you, what social media are you on? Sanaya underscore my name. Thank you. It's the Anaya Kind Show, A. Scenario for being on my show. Now let's welcome my next guest. Welcome to my show. Can you introduce yourself? Of course. Thank you for having me. No problem. My name is Jay Valentine and I'm an R&B and pop singer in Houston, Texas. So how do you describe your musical style? That's a great question. I am definitely a lot of R&B with pop, hip-hop, and soul influences. So what was your first song you ever wrote? Wow. Uh, the first song I ever wrote, I was like in second grade, and it was called Think Baby Think <laughs> with my best friend. <laughs> How old were you when you first started to sing? I've been singing since very a very, very little uh, little girl. I grew up in the church. My daddy taught me how to sing, and I started recording uh, and going to the studio and doing shows when I was about 13. Cool. So do you perform at churches? I do. I started off in the church and um, I never lost ties. That's my roots. Um, absolutely. I still sing in church. So what inspired you to sing? You know, I just really love the art of music. I love, um, I play piano. I love all different types of genres. So I just love music in general. If I wasn't singing, I feel like I would be doing something related to music. And I feel like in terms of writing, life inspires songs. So what else do you do besides singing? I actually have a chemical engineering degree, so I did go to school. Um, and so I do have sort of a different side of me where I'm in, in the corporate world as well. So what's next on your agenda? That's a great question. So I'm actually preparing for a holiday tour with a very prominent R&B singer. I cannot say her name. And it's also tied to a famous or infamous 
um, department store chain. So I can't reveal details just yet, but I'm really excited about it. Cool. So when did you realize you had the voice to see? I was pretty young, and if you let my dad tell it, I wasn't that good. <laughs> <laughs> but I, for whatever reason, I feel like something was in me that made me passionate about it and I really worked hard and, and practiced with my dad. And then one day, um, they let, they picked me for a solo in church and I sang and people clapped and I was like, oh, I think they like it. So I just kept going. <laughs> so where would you like to perform at? I think I'd like to perform in, in the UK. Um, they have like a lot of different music festivals out there and I think they really appreciate like good soul, artistry, good music. So I think that would be really fun. Modern. So, something you look at when other artists perform? You know, I look at uh, stage presence, if they're interacting with the crowd, um, if they're comfortable or if they're just kind of being boring and, and not really interacting with, with the, their surroundings. I try to listen to the songs they're singing and how they connect. When I perform, I try to have a theme or something kind of a symbolic sort of representation in my music and I just try to see how creative they are, how how much are they bringing their creativity and artistry to this. So who is your alter ego? That's a great question as well. I don't have like a name for my alter egos. I just feel like I have different sides of me. Um, and I think a lot of women can relate. You know, we are, we can be very straightforward, firm, assertive, business minded, and then we can be fun, creative, the next moment. So I just think we all sort of have different sides of our personality that we can choose to show depending on what we're doing. So do you have any new songs coming out? I do. I'm definitely working on some new music. I actually am going through a change in some of my management team, so it's really exciting, um, but to be continued. Do you play any instruments? I do. I play the piano. I was actually trained on piano for 10 years. Cool. Is Houston a good place for singing? You know, Houston is a good place for all of the arts. It's a pretty uh, collect eclectic and uh, diverse place. Um, I do think it's very hip-hop centric, but I do think because of that, it's easier to stand out as a singer. So let's take a look at some of your videos. Awesome. So this is This Night Only. <laughs> I'm looking at you when you're looking back I peep that, don't hold back If you put it in the middle, I'ma throw it back Ooh, I know you like that I'm stepping up to you like I own that I'ma run that I'ma show a little cutie how to hit that Ooh, you might as well Give in to that old feeling Cause I'm feeling it too
So if anybody wants to follow you, what social media are you doing? Awesome. So I'm on Instagram, the J Valentine, and J is spelled J A Y E. And if you can't remember that, just Google J Valentine, J A Y E. Is your music available online? Absolutely. Uh, most musical platforms, actually, Amazon, iTunes, uh, Google Play, all of that. So check it out. I want to thank you for being on my show. Is there anything else you would like to add? Yes, I'm actually in a movie. It's coming out Christmas time. It's called Screwed Up Christmas. And it has uh, ESG, which is a le legendary rapper in Houston, a comedian named 39 Cents, and it's directed by Miss Cat TV. So I'm really excited about that. Y'all check it out. It's going to be in some of our local movie theaters. It's going to be a really good time. Awesome. Also, um, for all things J, check out DJValentine.com. Remember, dream big. Nothing is impossible. It's the Anaya Kind Show A.